What is going on everybody? I'm bringing you another beginner's workout. I've done two before on the channel and they did really well. Everybody really liked them and I think that having more options is a really good thing uh, just to kind of keep it variable and stuff. This time, the little difference with this beginner workout is the other ones were body weight. This one is gonna be for those of you who have just a really light set of dumbbells. Most people have done this. You bought the dumbbells like 10 years ago. You put them in your garage and never use them again. So this is where you're gonna pull those out and some exercises that you can do with that. And then from here, you can kind of work yourself up. I've got my friend here. He's the dude who actually co owns this gym. You guys have never seen him on the channel yet, so I'll let you just kind of like let him know what's up. What's up guys, my name is Ross. I'm here from ProTF Fitness in La Mesa. So today I'm here with Brian. We're gonna go over a quick circuit here with small weighted dumbbells. So if you're a beginner or have these dumbbells at home and you wanna get a great workout in, make sure you stay tuned. It's gonna be awesome. Let's do this. So the first thing is planks, and you've probably heard of these before. They're pretty basic, but the, the main things that I think you need to, to think about is keeping your elbow directly under your shoulders. And then the other thing is keeping your hips actually a little bit low because a lot of people tend to spike their butt up to make it easier. And the point is to feel it in your abs. You're kind of like, um, think about when someone slaps you in the stomach and you kind of suck your stomach in. That's what you should be thinking about while you're holding this. We're gonna do this exercise for 30 seconds, and this is just to get those uh, muscles kind of fired up. And this is really good for correcting your posture. All right guys, so exercise number two, we're doing a renegade row. You can use any size weight with this. So what we're doing is, we're gonna go down into that push up, boom, row one side, row the other side. The key there, keep those hips neutral, draw that core in. Great exercise here to make sure we're properly engaging those lats. That's exercise number two. Chest and back work with this exercise. Okay, so the next exercise, you're gonna actually stand up. Now this is, you've heard this a million times as well, this is a very simple exercise. This is an air squat, so you're just gonna use no weight, or if you wanna be, make it a little bit more challenging, you can use the weights that you were just using. Spread your feet out to about shoulder width, and then by kicking your hips back first, you're gonna come down until you're at parallel with your hips and knees, or if you can't go that far because you're not mobile enough, just go as far down as you can. You're gonna come up. You're gonna go down, hit a little bit of a pause, and then come up. Just a tiny bit of a pause, and come up. All right guys, exercise number four here, we are doing an overhead press. So what we're doing, we have a pronated grip with those palms, the palms facing out, strict press over your head. If you don't have that mobility, use a little bit of that momentum and make it into a push press just like that to help you on the way up. All right guys, this is our final exercise here. It's called ice skaters. Keep in mind on the final exercise that body's fatigued, stay locked in, stay focused. Here we go. So we're to the right, boom, to the left, to the right, to the left. Make sure you find that balance point before you switch feet. That's our final exercise. So those are the five exercises that you're gonna do. The reps were on screen as you're watching the exercises. You're gonna go through that one time, that's one cycle. You're gonna do three cycles for this workout. That's where you start at, and as you wanna add more intensity, as you feel like it's a little bit easier every time you're doing it, add another cycle. Make it four, five, six, work yourself up all the way up to 10, and then find a, a workout that fits you better, something more intense. Like I said, this is a really good exercise just to start with, especially if you're just beginning uh, workouts and whatnot. Again, a good way to use some of the weights that are kind of sitting around your house. These exercises target most of the muscles on your entire body from front to back, from uh, top to bottom. So this is a good thing to start with that's gonna keep you mostly symmetrical and proportional. But from here, like I said, you should find another workout that adds intensity and is a little bit more encompassing and maybe even possibly moving into the gym after you've gone through these exercises. Before I end the video, I wanna give a big shout out to ProTF here in San Diego. If you ever are here, we do actually have our shirts on the wall. You guys can just come here and pick them up. You can get a workout in, check out the gym, possibly get a membership if you do live here in San Diego. Super sick place. We're gonna be filming here a lot more, so it's really cool that they're kind of giving us access to the facility here. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. I'd love to hear other ideas that you guys have. If you have other beginner workouts you'd like me to do or just other types of workouts you'd like me to demonstrate, I would love to do that. And subscribe if you aren't subscribed already. Team Beyond the Week, CT. Lift heavy or die Myron, motherfucker. Mm. Team Beyond the Week, CT. Lift heavy.